This protest happened during the nuclear arms race, 1983. We had tried everything, big protests, big concerts, getting arrested. We decided to try something different. All the newspapers and TV stations were there. But afterwards, they made it sound like a failure. Gaps in the circle, protesters fail. But if you were there, it was a completely different story. Yeah, I think this is it right here. We were parked right about here. It looks like the middle of nowhere, but just across those fields was Rocky Flats, the nuclear weapons factory. They made nuclear bombs out of radioactive plutonium. It was a crazy idea, really, to try and make a human chain around the whole plant. But it was 17 miles around. No one had ever tried anything like this in this country. We organized like crazy, put up posters and put ads in the newspaper and told everyone we knew. But we didn't know if enough people would come. So the biggest challenge was how to spread everyone out and get them to link hands at the same time. So we had a guy in a small plane who was circling around and radioing us and signaling us. That was plan A. And then we had volunteers with walkie-talkies all around the circle, and that was the backup plan. And there was a backup backup plan, and that was with buglers every half mile. We drove out here early to set up. My van was Command Central. We had a hookup to the local radio station, but we hadn't tested it. It was a beautiful fall day, windy, cool, mid-October. This barbed wire fence goes around the whole plant. That water tower is Rocky Flats. Here's what it looked like from above. Thousands of workers building bombs as fast as they could. A few people started to arrive. Then some more people came. We just hoped enough people would come. The energy was friendly, festive, and welcoming. People were hanging out, just waiting for everyone to arrive. Right now, we are going to attempt a first in KGNU history. OK, can you hear us out there? Yeah, I can hear you fine, oh, Bob. OK, Lynn, so it's working. I'm going to introduce Sister Mary Lou Tobin. I think that all of us are trying to demonstrate to the government that enough is enough is enough on this arms race. And we have got to call a halt to it. And so we're out here to say that. More and more people kept coming. They came in the back of pickups. They drove cars, they rode bikes, and they carpooled. They walked from Boulder. Steve, are you there? Yes, I'm here. OK, what's happening out there? I can hear a helicopter in the background. That's right, you can hear helicopters, trucks, buses, planes. Okay. Anyway, I'd like to give you an update on traffic, if that's OK. People listening on 93, stay with it. But when you get to the intersection of 128, please go south. People just kept coming. Traffic got jammed up. We stay off the road. This is behind the white line. We needed people to spread out. There were too many people near the west gate. Then the guy in the plane got motion sick and had to land, and we couldn't see everyone. We were on to the backup plan. But it was too far across the circle for the walkie-talkies to work. Then the wind was blowing too strong to hear the buglers. But these little transistor radios that people brought played the radio station from the van. People heard taps, joined hands, and then this happened.
a, a trip around the whole circle. And it's an inspiring sight, one that would bring tears to your eyes to see chains and chains and chains of people. Churches came, schools came, families came. Many people had never been to a protest before. As far as I could see, there were chains of people, hand in hand, side by side. People standing up, standing together. I'll never forget it. I'm sorry, I'm crying, so it feels funny. It's been great. It's beautiful realizing I touched the hand of a person who's touching the hand of the next person and so forth and so forth, 17 miles long. Wow. I don't know what to say. <laughs> All I can say is that we were all holding hands. It was, it was just wonderful. Oh, darling, here in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. Yeah.